Good morning, everybody. Hi, guys. Happy Sunday. Welcome back. We have a 40-minute dumbbell workout coming for you, and we are... There you go. We're getting ready to get started. What's up, everybody? Come on in. Welcome. Happy Sunday. I hope you are having a great holiday weekend. If you are here in the U.S., if you are abroad, thank you guys for joining us. All right, so we are going to get started. We have a 40-minute one dumbbell workout. 40 minute, one dumbbell. Now we are gonna be using a heavy weight. I always like to kind of let you guys have some options before we get started. So if you're not working out with us live, we are gonna save this and you can always change the weight if you need to, grab two dumbbells. A lot of the movements we do, you can do body weight. Uh, so keep in mind, this is going to be saved. Again, if you're not joining us now, live. All right guys, welcome. My name is Ash Wilking. If I have not had the honor of training with you, I am a Nike trainer and a rumble instructor here in New York City, and I am getting ready to bring you this 40 minute sweat. So we're just gonna jump straight in. I'll let you guys get up, set up for another 30 seconds, and then we're just gonna roll. Uh, while we're getting set up, make sure you guys drop me a note. I love to see where you are tuning in from, where you are sweating from. Again, if you have any questions, please drop them in the notes, but sometimes I don't see them when we're working out. So when this gets saved right after the workout, you can drop all of your questions if for some reason I don't see them and get to answer them. Sounds good? Cool. All right, so here's how this is gonna work. We are gonna take this up for a quick six minute warm up. Yeah, not quick, but we're gonna go for a six minute warm up. Activation is super important. Then we're gonna take you for a 20 minute strength circuit with a one dumbbell, yeah? Cool, then we're gonna go for a quick three minute burner. We're gonna finish with some abs are gonna be included always. And then we're gonna finish with a little spot. Ready for it? The answer is always yes, in case you're wondering. All right, so make sure your weight is off to the side. Oh, Mia was here, but then she left. So I'll move, I'll move her bed out of the way. All right, so we're gonna start with some gaiters, right? So elbows are gonna be out nice and wide. We're gonna start warming up through those shoulders and we're gonna take it into those hips. Good morning, everybody. Let's get this rolling. All right, so starting off with gaiters, I'm gonna get our time started. Get our music up a little bit. You guys ready for it? Let's do this. All right, so we're gonna take this in the little gaiters. Here we go, in five, four, three, two, one, and let's do it, elbows wide, yep. So we're gonna move through this warm up kind of quick. We're gonna go for 30 second intervals, right? Some of the things are gonna run a little bit longer, but for the most part, everything we're gonna do is for 30 seconds. My fingertips are right behind my head and I'm gonna work on squeezing my shoulder blades back and then pulling my belly in, trying to touch my elbows. All right, so again, big pull here. Whew. Hello, everybody. Are we in? Are we ready? Are we warming up? Let's do this. We're gonna take this into little gaiters, right? So we're gonna keep, oh, sorry, we're gonna take it into good mornings. Gaiters to good mornings, ready? And elbows out. So we're gonna do lots of hinging today. If you take class with me, you know I love to do a lot of hinge work. But unfortunately, some of us, right, struggle to really find that sweet spot. So things I want you to think about when you hinge are keeping your spine nice and tall. Imagine you have a broomstick connected to your tailbone and the top of your head, and it's keeping your spine connected. So you're just hinging it over. Nice. All right, keep this going. We've got another five seconds. We're gonna go feet nice and wide. We're gonna move side to side with those legs. Get ready in three, two, and one. Feet are nice and wide. You can reach your hands out if you want it. We're just gonna sit into a little side lunge, but we're not gonna move those feet. So during this warm up, here's what we're doing. We are gonna work through movements we're gonna do later with that dumbbell. So I just kinda want you to floss through those hips a little bit, let those knees start to shift forward, feel the ankles start to open up. Good, you guys are here for another five seconds and we're gonna switch this out. Let me turn your music up just a little bit. All right, we're gonna take it down into a T-spine. So we're moving into a quadruped in three, two, and one. Down to those knees. Left hand is on the floor, right hand is directly behind your head. You're just gonna tap your right elbow to the floor and then open it up. So we're just gonna warm up through that shoulder a little bit. Whew. All right, pressing through that hand, keeping that belly scooped in as you do this, press through that bottom hand. Now, in five seconds, we're gonna take that hand that is bent behind our head, we're gonna reach it out and kick our left foot back, ready? Let's do a little bird dog, three, two, and one. Left leg goes back, right arm out, and just start to pull that knee to your elbow. So same arm is moving, we're just extending the opposite leg behind us. Big squeeze through that belly, keep moving. 
All right, we got five more seconds. Same thing, other side. Let's go for it. Three, two, one. Right hand is down. Left hand behind your head. Drop that elbow down to the floor. Press through and find a little rotation. Okay, so again, you're driving through that standing arm, right? You're keeping that belly snugged in. Now, most people will say try to look to the ceiling. I say keep your spine exactly where it is. Keep your neck exactly where it is and rotate as one unit. We take this in the bird dog. Three, two, one. So, right leg is gonna kick back, left arm is out, and you're pulling, scooping those abs in, reaching those arms back out, driving through. Okay, we're three minutes in to our six minute warm up. How are we feeling? Starting to feel that warmth? Yeah, starting to burn a little bit? Good. We got another 10 seconds in this bird dog. Now, we're gonna stay in this plank, but we're gonna lift those knees off the ground, and we're gonna work on a little bit of rows. We're gonna take some rows later in plank, so I really wanna work on it. All right, both hands down. Three, walk your feet out. Two, high plank in one. Let's do it. All right, holding that high plank. Man, your toys are in the way. All right, start to row one arm at a time. So imagine you have your dumbbells, you're pulling your thumb right beside your chest and then press it. So keeping those hips steady, lifting up through those knees. Again, stay here. I'm gonna move Mia's dog bit out of the way because she doesn't wanna hang out with us anymore. All right, you guys are still in that plank. You have another 10 seconds. We're gonna flip it on over. We're gonna take this into a dead bug. All right, here we go in five, four, Three, two, and last bit of our warm up. You guys are gonna flip it on over. Lay it on your back. Now your knees are right above your hips. I want you to reach your arms up. There's a lot of variations of this, so we're gonna do it opposite. Right leg, left arm. Right, keep that belly kind of scooped in. And then switch. Right hand, left leg. Now as you notice, my other two limbs are not moving. So I bring it in. We're here for a little bit longer than the other warm-up movements, right? We're gonna take this a lot longer. We're gonna go for a full minute. We're gonna double it up. So we're really just firing through this core. We're adding a little overhead extension, reaching that head overhead, head overhead, hand overhead. All right, stay with it. You guys have another 30 seconds in this dead bug. You guys good? All right, good. You guys stay there, right? You guys are still in this dead bug for another 20 seconds. Opposite hand is reaching, opposite leg is reaching. Stay with it, you've seen me do it. You don't have to watch me, you know it. Come on. Good, I'm gonna give you guys another 10 seconds and then we are out of this warm up. We're gonna go ahead and find that one heavy dumbbell and we're gonna get moving. Ready for it, you guys got five. Four, three, two, one, and you are done with that one. Nice work. All right, warm up is done. Core should be fired up, shoulders should be fired up. We're gonna work on those legs and the arms. So I'm doing a lot of compound movements. So I'm gonna show you your first ones. Here's how this set is gonna work. Every movement we're gonna do for 50 seconds. Then I'm gonna give you 10 seconds to get ready for the next one. All right, we're gonna run through this circuit of three times. So the first movement, I'm gonna go weight in my left hand, right? And when I do that, I'm gonna kickstand that same leg slightly behind me. Notice when I kickstand, I just go shoot. Set that foot down, good. We're gonna hinge and row. So weight's gonna be beside you. Other arm is out, notice that, yeah? We're gonna hinge over into a single leg kickstand deadlift. Then we're gonna go for a single arm row. And then we're gonna stand. Now, I like to put my elbow wide because it's gonna help me keep my chest out. If that ever bothers you, drop it down. Are we ready to get working? I'm gonna get our timer started. That's our first move. Second move is a side lunge with a high pull, but I'm gonna walk you through it. All right, fam, let's get this going. Remember, 50 seconds on each. We're going in five, four, three, two, and I gotta warn you, 20 minutes starts now. Let's do it. Ooh, my timer's right. Okay, there we go. So, my weight is in my left hand. I'm gonna hinge it forward, right? Kick my booty on back. I'm gonna pull that weight to my chest and then stand. Again, hinge, row, and then stand. Keep your belly in tight as you hinge it over. Give me that nice row, squeeze that elbow up and then stand again. Remember, we are here for 50 seconds. The good news is, we're just gonna switch to the other side, right? Pretty simple. Now you know the movement. So remember, 90% of your weight should be on your front leg. Your kickstand is just like 10%, all right? So just barely any weight. That foot is allowing you to let your chest go forward. Notice how my hips go back and I row. We got five seconds. 
We're gonna get set up for the other side in four, three, two, and switch, right? Switch hands, switch legs. So right foot is back, right hand is working, hand behind three, two, one, let's go for a hinge, right? Give me that big row, and then stand up tall, keep your belly in. Good, sit those hips back. Now, a lot of people love to do single leg deadlifts where they lift that back leg off the floor. If that is in your wheelhouse and you are super comfortable, I want you to go for it. But if at any point you're like, mm, I don't know if I'm doing this right, right? If you lift that foot off the ground, come back to this kickstand, it works. Again, we're working with one medium to heavy dumbbell. So if you've got it, use it, right? Driving through, all right, here we go. We got less than 15 seconds. Now we are gonna switch back to the other leg, back to the other arm. Another compound movement, we're gonna go for a side lunge and a high pull. All right, opposite leg and arm are gonna work. You got four, three, two, and switch. Weight is in your left hand, right leg is gonna step out, three, two. Now we warmed up that side step, but this time we're gonna step into that side lunge. Weight comes through the center. Step up, give me a high pull on the other hand. Right leg steps out into a lateral lunge. Keep your chest up. Exhale as you come all the way up. Now you can do this round with a really heavy dumbbell, but you can also do it with something a little bit lighter. It's completely up to you. Remember, when we bring you the workout, but you have to own it, whatever feels best for your body, that's the most important part. We are 35 seconds down, and then we get to switch to the other side. I love side lunges. Anybody else? Most important thing though, is you gotta really sit those hips back and don't let that knee turn out to the side. Really important. We got three, two, and one more. Whew. Okay, switching, other side. Right hand, left leg, right hand, left leg, right hand, left leg. We'll go three, two, and one. Right hand, left leg. So left leg steps out. I'm hitting into my side lunge. Watch that knee. Don't let it turn out. I always say no jousting, right? None of this stuff. I want you to step, toes are forward, knees are forward, you sit your hips back, weight goes through the center. Now you're gonna feel your inner thigh on that straight leg. Great, because it's still working, right? Just because we're only stepping with one doesn't mean the other isn't there. All right, hinging it over, belly's in, Whew. pulling it up. All right, all right, all right, come on. Where are we at? 35 seconds down. I always look right at 35 seconds, somehow that works out. All right, remember pulling that elbow high but not lifting up your shoulder. You guys are crushing this. All right, check it out. We're gonna take this into Renegade Row, so I'm gonna show you what's coming up. You get to rest, three, two, one, you rest. We have three rows, then we're gonna walk over. Lots of pulling on this one, but we're pushing. So we're gonna hold that weight. Three Renegade Rows on one side. Three, two, one. Then I just want you to put that hand down wide, switch to the other hand. Three. Two, still working on that pull. One, weight goes down, hands go wide, shift over to the other side. So again, we're working three renegade rows. Ooh, weight goes over, and then I switch nice and carefully. Now, if you wanna take two or three little steps over, right, if you wanna kinda move your hands over nice and slow, that's cool too, right? You wanna be tight when you're rowing this with your hands, but wide with your feet. So notice I, I just kinda shift over, how are we doing on time? 10 seconds left in this one. Then we're gonna grab that weight by our chest. We're gonna do a little press and a leg raise. All right, we're gonna switch it from a pull to a press. Ready? Three, two, one, and last move. All right, weight's coming to the chest. We're gonna lay it down, legs are up. I want you to press, reach for your toes with that dumbbell. Let your legs drop into a leg raise. Pull it back up, down. Weight comes down, press. Now, again, it is up to you how fast you wanna go through this. If you wanna move your crunch and your press in the exact same motion and you got it, you know what I say, fall on it, always. All right, last bit on this one. Woo. Press and drop, press and drop. So I am not gonna run a badass ab round, instead I am adding badass abs into you're around. All right, yep, sweat's starting to drench. Sweat is starting, here we go. All right, we have eight seconds left. You get a little breather. 
for 30 seconds and we're gonna do it again. Get ready, here we go. Four, three, two, and one. Carefully set that one down. All right, time starts now. You guys have 30 seconds in between this set to breathe. How are we doing? This is when you get to run on over and drop me a note. <laughs> Ask me questions, how are we feeling? All right, so we're gonna do all that again. The best part about this second is that you know exactly what you're doing. Yes, you're gonna be able to move a little bit more efficient. You're gonna move maybe a little bit faster, but I don't want you to lose your form. How are we feeling? We got eight seconds. We're gonna do this again. Get ready for it. Weights in your left hand. We're gonna go for the hinge and the row. We're going in five, four, set number two, three, two, one. Grab that dumbbell and let's go for it. Now we're stepping that left foot back with our kickstand. Notice my knees are in line. I'm gonna hinge it over. I'm gonna pull lots of rows today. And let me tell you why. So most of us don't work on our posterior chain too much, right? We do a lot of pressing. I don't know about you guys, I box a lot. So when I box, I push, I push, I push, I push, but I never pull, right? So we have to work on this pull, that squeeze. So this round is really focusing on the pull. Lots of focusing. Next round, we're gonna work, this up. works, works. We're gonna work on a lot more pushing. Keep in mind, if you need to, if you want to amp it up, you can take this into a single leg hinge and then hold it for the row. We're gonna switch to the other side in five, four, three, two, and one. Right now we're giving that arm a rest. We're gonna take it to the other side. So right leg is that kickstand. Notice my knees are still in line, right? My left hand's gonna go behind my head if I want it. I hinge, row, and come up. Now stay with this movement, my advanced, if you want it if you are working that row, right? If you wanna take it into a single leg balance, row, come on up, barely set that foot down, do it. Again, if you wanna take the challenge. Now, I like to start with the kickstand, even in my first set, because it really allows me to keep my hip on the back leg down. So you wanna imagine that your hips are like headlights, and when you look down at the floor, they are both facing the ground, right? You don't wanna open up that right hip. Keep it all down. Here we go, 10 seconds left. All right, remember we're gonna go back to our right leg, back to our left arm. Who's with me? We got five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, switch it. Another compound move. Oh, I love some compound moves. Right leg steps out, left arm goes for that high pull, and let's rock and roll. Step wide, let the knee shift forward into that split as we drive through, squeeze the belly, and then shoo, exhale as we pull it up to the top. Jerk, side lunge. Always about the compound movements. If you train with me, you know that I'm a jam. Right, like strawberry jam. Anybody, strawberry grape? Anybody have a preference? <laughs> Step it out to the side. Give me that high pull. Use your breath. Are you breathing? Don't hold that breath. I can't help you out from here, right? You have to use that breath. Give your lungs some of that oxygen. You guys have another 15. I'm just walking over to make sure we're good. I see all kind of thumbs up, so we are gravy. All right, come on. Where are we at? Eight more seconds on this side. And then we're gonna switch to the other side. Remember, we are strength training today. I saved all the cardio for later. You got three, two, one. Other side. All right, left leg, right arm. Left leg, right arm. Left leg, you got it, right arm. Let's go for it. Left leg steps out. As you come up, belly scoops in, shoot that elbow up nice and high. Now, high pulls are a very interesting movement, right? So you don't want to put it into your neck. You do want to think about giving that shoulder a little strength in the lift, but also through the pull. So not only are you lifting, but you're pulling. But because your palm is facing in, you're targeting different muscles. Step it out to the side. Remember, use that straight leg to pull yourself back up high. We are 30 seconds in, which means we have 20 seconds left. Whew. Oh man, you guys are gonna feel this in that upper body, but also that lower body. Like that's the best thing about these compound moves. All right, all right, all right. Come on, we got eight seconds left. Whew. A little breather, then we take it into those rows. Five, four, three, two, Drop it on down. Remember, we got three rows on the left. Walk it on over, three rows on the right. All the rows, all of them, everything together. Let's go, three, two, one. I'm in my high plank. I'm holding my feet wide. I'm gonna pull. Now, again, I always say modify if you need to. If this is not working for you, 
right? Maybe you just change it up. Maybe you take out the weight and you just work on a little single arm plank and then switch. Always a movement for everyone. That's what I say, always. There is always a movement for you, right? If you ever have injuries, work around them and then work to help them get stronger. Come on. Oh my gosh, this one always gets me. This is when it really challenges me because I'm pushing through one arm, I'm pulling through the other, my abs are fired, my legs are lifting to keep my hips stable. How are those headlights doing, right? Hip bones facing down, you guys got five, four, three, two. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Coming on down. All right, let's press, let's work those abs. So weight to the chest, roll it down nice and careful. Toes are up to that ceiling. We're gonna press and reach, hold. Stabilize with the weight. Legs are going down as low as you want them, need them to. Weight comes down. Whew. All right, reach and press. The legs go down, 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 down. Up. Keep this move. I'm going to turn your music up a little bit. Y'all, we're in that final stretch of the second set. There it is. All right, come on. We got 20 seconds left, and then you guys are out. Last bit, last bit, shoot. Legs up. Ah. All right, eight more seconds. Weight goes down. We get a 30 second breather. We all get to say hi to Mia. Get some water. We're doing it one more time. She says three, two, one. All right, carefully set that weight out of your way. Your time is started. 30 seconds to catch your breath. You guys wanna say hi to Mia? She's sleeping. Come see Mia there. Oh. You guys want to say hi to Mia during your break? Grab some water. We're going to do it one more time. Look how cute she is. All right. Who's ready for it? Who's feeling it? Give me some hearts. Give me some love. Give me some emojis. Let me know you guys are out there living. Come on. All right, Mia. Let's push you back down in your bed. <laughs> Here we go. You guys ready? We got one more set. Sets are good. Sets mean you know what you're doing and you can crush them. Okay, let's do it. We got five seconds. All right, waist in at that left hand. Yes, left hand. We're going in three, we're going in two, we're going in one. Final set, you should find burnout, right? Left foot is back, hinge it over. Booties on out, give me that row. Stand it up. Belly's in tight, hinge it over. Give me that row. And stand. Nice, all right, all right, all right. Ooh. I got you, I got you. We got another 30 seconds to go. Come on. Again, hinge, row, stand. Hinge, row, stand. Here for 50 seconds, and we're gonna switch to the other side. This is your last hinge, your last row. This is your last long set, because let me tell you, next set is gonna get real fast with that weight. And the final set, we got no dumbbells. Working on that final burnout. You guys get a breather in four, three, two, and switch. You got 10 seconds, we're on the other side, right arm. Left leg, right arm, left leg, right arm, left leg, good. Here we go, four, three, two, and one. Left leg is forward. Right leg is that kickstand back. Again, one more time with the hinge. Row, my advanced, you know it. Take it into that single leg, find the balance, find the squeeze, stand up. You have to make sure that core is bracing. You have to make sure you're using those abs. I know we're doing a lot of hinging. We're doing a lot of rowing. We're doing a lot of chest to floor. But again, we need to focus on that posterior work. Because if we only do chest press, right? If we only do curls, if we only do overhead pressing and squatting, we're never really targeting just the backside. So when you hinge over into a deadlift, what happens is you're gonna stretch that glute Right, it stretches, so it's like a rubber band. Think about it stretching, and then when you stand, it snaps back and pulls. That's where that strengthening piece happens. You got four, three, two, one, and switch. Right hand goes to the left hand, left leg goes to the right leg. Right leg out, left arm pull. Four, three, two, one, let's go. Come on, step it to the side. If you don't dance during your workout, are you really working out? <laughs> All right, right arm out. Now, Something else I like to kind of talk about as you're moving through is what is the hand that has nothing in it doing? Right, is it a wet noodle? Wet noodles are only for pasta night, right? I want a strong arm. So imagine, maybe you're holding an imaginary tennis ball. So when you engage, 
through that non-lifting arm, guess what you do? You fire up your upper body, right? When you fire up your upper body, guess what happens? Your core fires up, your legs fire up. It is a chain reaction. So if you got a wet noodle going on, guess what? You got a wet noodle coming all the way down. None of that stuff. We have five, four, three, two, and switch. So never let anything go. You want the entire body fired up. That's why we take rest so we can rest. Let's not rest. Let's move. Three, two, one, go. Left leg out. P.S. is your last one. Just crush it. Last one. Whew. There's that wet noodle. I found myself holding out my hand, right? I wasn't engaging. I got it. I found my imaginary tennis ball. Do you want a tennis ball? Grab it. Me and tennis balls around here somewhere. It's a lot. I use it a lot for the workout. All right. Guys, last five minutes set. We're gonna take this, sorry, last six minutes set. We're gonna take this in that renegade row. We're gonna add that press in those abs one more time. And then we are gonna burn out next round. We're gonna move fast. We're gonna do 30 second intervals. Yeah, you heard it. All right, eight more. We have five, four, three, two. Goodbye, lateral legs and hinging. Take it down into your plank. Let's go for those renegade rows. Weights are down. Three rows, walk to the other side. Three, two, oh my goodness. I'm not ready, Ash. Yes, you are, you got this. Three, two, one, we're finally, right? We're finding that final burnout in those arms. In that row, three, two, keep those head legs down. Keep your hips down. Whew. Come on, three, slight bend in that standing arm. Two, 20 seconds down. Are you breathing? Use that breath. Woo! 20 seconds, just rock. Last bit in these renegade rows. Tiny, tiny bit, last bit. Come on, I got you guys. 10 seconds, don't you get out early. You keep those hips down, you slightly bend those elbows. We're gonna flip it over for that final press, final bit of abs in five, four, three, two, bam. You guys are rocking this, I just feel it. Grab those weights. Lay it on down. All right, we're gonna do the opposite. Let's work the press. Toes are up, press and reach. Whew. Legs out and in. Press and reach. Now, modifications for this one. I know we're on the last one. But you can always slightly bend those knees if you need to. Drop the heels to the floor and then tuck the knees into the chest. Again, if something doesn't feel right, it might not be right. Right? Sometimes things don't feel good and we have to fix something else for them to do it, but it doesn't mean that we have to completely avoid the entire movement. Maybe there's just another way to do it. I am drenched in sweat right now. Oh boy, we got less than 10. Last five. Last four, three, two, and knees in. Weight down. Oh my goodness. All right, catch your breath. Grab some water. Two thumbs up. Drop me a note, let me know how you guys are doing. Never give up, that's right, Brian. Never ever give up, we don't give up. But sometimes it is okay, right? Like I went for a run this week and it was real bad, it was real hot and humid, and like I ran halfway, got my bike and rode back. It's okay to give up too, right? You just gotta find a little bit of a balance. All right, fam. We're going into the next one. Remember, I'm gonna give you a nice long recovery on this one. Now, here's what we're gonna do on this one. All right, so we're gonna take, I'm turning the music down so you can hear me. We're gonna do a squat press with our dumbbell, but I want you to see me do this kind of close, right? So I'm gonna hold my dumbbell at my chest. I'm gonna squat. Now, as I come up, I'm gonna press and shh. I'm gonna slightly rotate. I'm gonna drive through one of my toes, lift the heel and rotate my torso. Back down, squat, shh, press. So I'm gonna do that for 30 seconds. Second move, we're gonna take it into a kneeling overhead tricep. So I'm gonna come down with that weight. Now, overhead triceps, two options. You can hold the weight at the ends, keeping the elbows in, or you can turn the weight up and down and hold it, right? Like a tulip, hands around. Last movement, we're gonna take it into elbow knee tap. So weight's gonna go away. We're gonna hit our elbows. We're gonna rock. So I'm gonna rock forward, right? As I come forward, I'm gonna try to bring my knee up. Bring my knee out. If that's not working for you, guess what? I want you in a high plank and I want you to work on those knee taps. Give me a thumbs up or a heart or something if you are ready, because we're working. This one's gonna go fast. 30 second intervals, no breaks in between. One move to the next. We're coming up on the final stretch of this class. Y'all ready? Are y'all ready? 
The answer is always yes, by the way. Grab your dumbbell. All right, I'm gonna get your timer started. We're going in five. Squat to the overhead press. In three, weight at your chest. Two, weight at your chest. One, we got 30 second intervals. Let's crush. All right, come on. Hi, Mia. What's up, bubble bear? You gonna come hang out with Women's Health? So again, we're squatting, press, twist. If this doesn't work for you, just hit that squat to press. If this doesn't work for you, adding that rotation, just squat to press. But remember what I said last round, we moved a little bit slower. No time to wait on this one. We're moving nice and quick. Whew. All right, we got five seconds. We're coming down. Four, kneeling. Three, two, come to your kneel. Now, I already have my weight at my chest, so I'm going to raise those arms up, keep my elbows in, and overhead extend. Now, a lot of people say it kind of bothers them to tuck their toes. You can untuck your toes here, but if you do, you've got to work on squeezing your booty a little bit tighter. Because when you tuck your toes, it actually engages your glutes for you, the way those legs are moving, right? Because those quads tend to fire. You stretch them a little bit more. Who's ready for elbow planks? Three, two, oh my gosh, one. Okay, elbows are down. Remember, rock back. As you come forward, tuck your knee in. Come on, come on. So again, you're in that elbow plank. Remember, if you need to come to a high plank, hit the high plank and just pull your knee up to the same, same elbow, same knee. Same knee, same elbow, same thing. All right, who's ready to rock it? We're gonna do this one more time. Everybody's up, grab your dumbbell. Four, three, two, no breaks. Let's go, come on. Three minutes nonstop. Here we go, squat. Oh my lordy. Whew. Belly's in tight. Sit, drive. Sit, drive. Now, again, if the arms are starting to bother you, you can just work the squat completely up to you. But if you've got it, what do I say? What do I say? What do I say? You flaunt it. That's right. You got five, four, three, two. Take it to a kneeling, half kneeling if you want to. Weight goes overhead and burn out the backs of those arms, work that tricep. Lots of arms today, lots of pulling today, pressing and pulling. You are gonna feel these. That means you worked. All right, Whew. remember three minutes of work only, and then we take it into our final four minutes of Tabata. Are you guys with me? Our arms burned out, because we're gonna do one more elbow plank. Holy moly, here we go, five, four, three, two. Oh. Arms are toast down to the elbows, but now is when they actually burn out. So we rock it back. Drop your heels, pull your knee up. As you rock forward, pull. Now my knee slightly goes out. If you need that knee to go out, let it go out. Y'all, you have eight seconds left in this and you get a breather. That's how fast this three minute round went by. You have five, four, three, two, one, and rest. All right, I'm gonna give you guys 30 seconds to catch your breath. Whew. After we do a 20 minute circuit, that three minute round is just like, what just happened? What just happened? All right, guys, last one. We have four minutes of Tabata, and then we're done, right? That's it. 40 minute workout goes by super quick. So here's what I need you guys to do. I need you guys to get your weight out of the way. Get your weight out of the way. All right, we're gonna do some drop squats. We're gonna do some high knee sprint, sprint holds. We're gonna do some mountain climber sprint, sprint holds. We are gonna do plank tucks, swirls, and jump squats. I said it, that's where we're going. All right, so you guys can follow along all moves that we have done. We're gonna work a little drop squat. So remember, I'll show you the first two moves, right? First two moves, we're gonna go out, hit the ground, grab a zipper, and zip your ankles up in between. 20 seconds of work, 10 seconds of rest. I'm gonna show you the move while you rest for 10. Thumbs up if we're ready. Thumbs up if we're ready. I'm gonna get our music up. All right, guys, this is it. Final four minutes on the clock. Here we go. You guys are in that drop squat. We go in five. We go four, three, two, one, and go. Drop zip. Now, we're only working for 20 seconds, so I need max effort. Everything you got, double time. Final burnout. Notice a lot of legs are gonna be in this burnout. We give the arms a little bit of a break. You got five. You got four. Three, two, one, all right, rest for 10. We're gonna do a sprint, sprint, hold. High knees, but you're gonna hold on one of them. So everybody bring your right knee up, ready? Catch your breath, ready, set, and go. Sprint, sprint, hold, hold it. Sprint, sprint, hold, hold. 
All right, my advance, you can take it side to side. 10 down, 10 to go. Then we do this exact same motion in a plank, but as a mountain climber. Woo. Four, three, two, one. Drop it on down. All right, we're in that plank for a bit. Same motion, sprint, sprint, hold, but in a plank in three. Oh my gosh, two and one. He comes up, sprint, sprint, hold, hold. Sprint, sprint, hold, hold. Sprint, sprint, hold, hold, come on. 10 seconds down. You have five, four, last three, two, one, rest. All right, rest out your wrist for a second. We're gonna do the same plank. We're gonna hop our feet in, hop our feet out for plank talks. We're going in three. Stay with me, two, one, and go. So get those hips up, press through those hands. You can do this slow, right? You can just hop in a little at a time, or you can go nice and quick. All right, you're gonna rest those hands from the ground in four, three, two, rest. All right, we're gonna build on that movement. Now we're adding the hop in. We're gonna stand up for a sprawl. If you want a burpee, now's when you do it. Let's go in four. Last minute, three, two, one, hop it in, reach, hop it back out. Not a burpee, right? We're gonna do a sprawl. We don't know I love to box. I did karate, so we call them sprawls. Oh my goodness. We have three, two, one, and rest. Are you ready? P.S. We're doing jump squats. We're gonna go in and out of these jump squats. Final 20 seconds. Ready, feet together. We're gonna hop out. Three, two, one, go. Hop in, hop out. Come on. Last bit, last bit, last bit. Last 20 seconds. Find the burnout on the legs. Come on. Five seconds and we are out. We have four, three, two, one, and rest. All right, catch that breath, hands overhead. We are just at that final bit on time. I'm gonna take you guys for a quick stretch, hands overhead, Ooh, cool it down. Oh my gosh, anybody else? Oh, way out of breath on that last little bit. Three minutes of work is no joke, all right. If you're with me, stretch. If you have a question, drop it now. I'll try to scroll through and answer some stuff in just about 60 seconds. So feet nice and wide. Whew, reach those hands up. So just saw that heart rate. Interlace those hands. Reach them overhead. Big breath in. Ooh, lots of arms today, right? So as you take those hands behind you, try to feel that little stretch. Keep your belly in and then let your hands go all the way behind your back. Interlace those palms. Slide your thumbs down your spine towards your tailbone, open up that chest, squeeze your hands together, and then find your hinge. You know this is my favorite. Hinge it over, and then when you can, take those arms overhead. Whew. And when you're ready, drop those hands down, right? Heel toe your feet in a little bit closer, so they're hip width apart, right? Bend your knees and roll it up for three, roll it up for two, one, and take those hands all the way overhead one more time. I want you guys to create a little bit of electricity. And then when you're ready, I want you to shoot that lightning bolt out to the side because you guys just crushed that ash whooping. Thank you guys so much for joining. Ooh, look at the sweat. We put in that work. All right, again, if you guys have questions, I will answer them. I don't see any. What do we have going on? Let me know if you guys have any questions. So if I missed anything during the workout, right, if you dropped a note and for some reason I missed it because there were so many comments, I am going to save this on Women's Health. Please feel free to go drop those questions there. Tag me and I'll come and make sure that we connect on the IG. All right, guys, thank you all so much. Again, my name is Ash Wilking. I'll see you guys every Sunday. Let me know what equipment you guys are working with. Maybe we'll change it up next week and put some booty bands or a chair, whatever you guys want. I'm down every Sunday. All right, guys, enjoy the rest of your weekend. Peace.